So the most common thing that people use clinically is changing strike pattern. So going from a rear foot strike to a non-rear foot strike. And we know, for example, that can on average reduce load through the knee by around 20%. So it's a reasonable change. But the S and the shifting load is probably the one that I'll use most cautiously because you don't make load magically disappear. So unlike reducing load where we're reducing those impact forces, getting someone landing closer into the hips, if we do something like change strike pattern and shift load, the load will then have to go through the foot and ankle. And so that's where we can potentially cause new and other injuries. And I'm sure any clinician listening in has seen someone have a stress fracture or an Achilles issue or some other foot and ankle issue because they've changed their strike pattern or they've gone to barefoot running or something like that. So that's something that needs to be thought about really carefully and really cautiously. And first question to ask yourself is, do I need to actually do that or can I work on some other strategies and they're going to be enough? 